How's our lady behaving? When does a gorgeous lady like Molly ever behave? You don't have to put on a show for me, Doc. Molly, this isn't a show. I gotta have this bed for more seriously ill people. Really? He's, uh, he's right, Molly. We need it. I'd rather believe you two more than anything. But you don't have to kid an old kidder like me. The big freeze did me in. Molly, I want you to relax. Don't think about that. That's something for us to worry about, all right? It's not me that I'm worried about. It's little Mike. What's going to happen to him when I'm gone? Molly, if anything ever were to happen, he can live with me. You know it's going to happen, don't you? Molly, please. We're not going to think about things like that, OK? I mean, you don't want all the doctors here in the hospital to think that uh, the two of us can't bring people back to good health, do you? It's about time somebody gave us some of our own medicine. Yeah. You'll take care of Mike, won't you? You won't let anything happen to him, like letting him go to an orphan's house or anything like that. Only as long as I'm alive, that would never happen. Hi, Dr. Come on, Hi, Bobby. Hi, it's girl. Taking a break from school, huh? No, I came to see my grandma. Is she well yet, Doc Rick? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, I would like... I would like very much to send your grandma home so she could be there and take care of you. But right now, we have to kind of take care of your grandma. We have to get her strength back. But when's that going to be? I don't know, Mike. Sometimes a doctor can only do so much. And the rest is up to God. You understand? Well, I guess I do. But I wish God would decide about Grandma a little faster so Grandma could come back home. I miss her a lot. Good morning, everybody. Sure. What's wrong? Yeah, I'm going to go take a break, OK? Hi. Hi. How come my tea doesn't taste like How that? How do you mm. like double chocolate swirl? Boy, it's just great. Terrific. I wish I could take some to Grandma. She's always had an appetite when, when it comes to ice cream. Uh, listen, Mike, I should ask you, do you have anything in your life right now that needs doing that I could help with? I mean, like, oh, I don't know, got any holes in your socks or something? Yeah, maybe I could uh, take Corky to the vet for you and, uh, you know. Well, you saw Corky this morning. He's OK. That's right, I forgot. Yeah. Gosh, it seems like Christmas. Everybody's being so slow to me, like you and Doc Greek bringing me here for ice cream. It is very easy to be swell to a swell guy. Which reminds me, um, how do you like living with Rick? Is he treating you okay? Oh, I like it just fine. Yeah? Except... Except what? You got a complaint? What Except is it? What, what, Mike, darling? Well, Doc Rick does a lot of kicking during the night, you know? He doesn't sleep so good. I do a Kicks lot of... a lot, does he? Leslie has no idea the uh, sleepless nights that I spend now. Uh, restless, sleepless. She doesn't? No, you see, when I was married to Leslie, I slept like a log. Okay, I think we've had enough of that particular subject. Oh, you're going to back off now, huh? And you huh? better, or you're going to be in big trouble. Yeah, I'm going to put salt in your ice cream. You know... I think people get married should stay married. You know, this has really been my day. I said the wrong thing to Bobby before you got here. It makes two, three strikes and I'm out. I'm sorry. You are forgiven. I think everybody's just a little upset over Mike's grandma. Dr. Noah Drake, staff to CIC. Molly. It's gotta be, let's go. Staff to CIC. Try to locate Dr. Rick Weber. Yes, Dad. Okay, her pulse is weak and thready. She's going into shock. No, she's fibrillating. Get the defibrillator. We're going to have to shock her. Hi, Bobby. I just had a double chocolate cream ice cream soda. Well, that sounds terrific. It was super. I was a good girl. I only had one little scoop of Heavenly Walker. That was being a good girl. I warned you about this. <laughs> Got any messages? Uh, Leslie, you're all clear. 
Tell you what, why don't uh, the three of us go to pediatrics and see some of your friends? Ooh. Oh, that sounds just great. great. Rick, you have a message. What, Bobby? The ICU staff. Wouldn't you know they'd find something to keep me from having fun? I tell you what, the two of you go alone, and I will join you a little later. I have some very important business. Okay, okay. but uh, uh, Doc Rick, yeah. I understand how you guys have to see patients all the time. Good. Oh yeah, but listen, you and I, we can have we can have fun together, right? I mean, they've got new toys up there. You could check those out, right? All right. All right. Doc Rick, if you happen to see my grandma, be sure to tell her I said hello. I'll do that. Thanks. Come on, Chuck. Let's go. Four hundred watts. Stand clear. There's no response. She's still fibrillating. Shocker, yeah? Yeah, no conversion. All right, let's give another shot at it. Push your bolts and light a can. Give me 400 watts seconds. Stand clear. Stand clear. Rick, we've got a straight line, diagonal rhythm. God made his choice, Molly. I'm sorry. She knew what happened today, and it did. I'll, I'll take over. No, thank you. Failure. Couldn't get her out of fibrillation. Rick's in there now if you want to go in. Uh, listen, I, I hate to ask this, but could you, either one of you or both of you, uh, go and pick up Mike. He's in pediatrics and take him over to Kelly's. Yeah, I, I yeah. can get some replacement. Sure. No problem. This is going to be really rough on him. What does he tell him? See. No. Um... I think probably Rick will want to tell him when they're alone. Let's go. See you later. Thanks, Sarah. 